everyone. Now we'll see the next part that the position of principal plane. Till now we had seen how to find out the normal stress, tangential stress, resultant stress, and angle of ability. Then the next part is how to find out the position of principal plane. We know the definition. What is a principal plane? It is a plane on which the shear stress is zero. Means we have to find out the plane on which the shear stress is zero. Means that tau theta it should be equal to zero. We know the equation that tau theta is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by two sine of two theta minus tau cos of two theta. And if I equate it to zero, then I will get the principal plane. But if shear stress is there, then that is not principal plane. So this tau theta it should be equal to zero. That's why we are equating this. It is equal to zero. Now we will re. We will get. I will take this other side. So this equal uh, sigma x minus sigma over two sine of two theta is equal to tau cos of two theta. Then again. Sin theta divided by cos of two theta I will take towards left hand side. That is equal to this tau is on right hand side. Then two I will take. Then it is multiplied to tau divided by sigma x minus sigma y. Now this sin two theta divided by cos two theta is equal to that is tan of two theta. So tan two theta p is equal to two tau divided by sigma x minus sigma y. This p indicates principal plane. Position. This is the equation number three. Now, the position of these principal planes. So, always there are two planes, and which are perpendicular to each other, and that we will find out. So, if you take tan inverse of this, then two theta p is equal to tan inverse of two tau divided by sigma x minus sigma y, and then again if you divide by two, then you will get theta p. And that is the first theta p one is equal to theta p. That is position of principal plane. That again we can call it as a major or the minor depending upon the value. So second is what already we said that the two principal planes are always perpendicular to each other. So if you want to find out second principal plane, so first principal plane plus 90, then you will get the position of second principal plane. So theta p two is equal to theta p one plus 90. So this is what the position of Principal planes. Now we will find out the what is the magnitude of the principal stresses. As we found out the position of principal plane, and now what is the magnitude of the stress acting on that principal plane that we are going to find out? We know that tan two theta p is equal to two tau divided by sigma x minus sigma y. Just now we had derived this. Now what we will do? We will represent this geometric representation of this equation. So when we say tan theta is equal to that is front side divided by adjacent side, so that we will convert into the triangle. So this is the triangle. So this is angle two theta. Then this is the front side that is two tau adjacent side sigma x minus sigma y. <coughs> Now the diagonal of right angle triangle. This is the diagonal or hypotenuse we can say. So what we will get that is sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus. Two tau bracket square, so plus minus two roots we will get. Now, so say plus minus this uh, two if we square, then we will get the four and tau square as it is. Then we will find find out the sine of two theta value. What is the sine theta height upon the diagonal? So front side divided by the hypotenuse. So here they are calling it as a height, and this is the diagonal. So what is the front side? That is the two tau. And the diagonal just now we calculated this value, so we will get sine of two theta. Similarly, we will calculate the cos of two theta. That is the base divided by the diagonal or adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Then we will get <coughs> cos of two theta equal to sigma x minus sigma y. This is the adjacent side or the base and hypotenuse this value. Then cos to the plus minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by Sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus four tau square. What we did from this equation just now, we found out the value of sine two theta and 
cos of 2 theta. Now, <coughs> this value of sin 2 theta and cos 2 theta that we will put in equation number 1. What is the equation number 1? That is sigma theta is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos of 2 theta plus tau sin of 2 theta. So, here we are going to put the value of cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta so that we can find out the principal stresses. Now, see this sigma x plus sigma y by 2 as it is then this cos 2 theta plus minus value so plus minus we are keeping. So, this is a term as it is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta value we are putting sigma x minus sigma y divided by in under root sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus 4 tau square. Then plus minus the tau as it is sin 2 theta value that is 2 tau divided by under root sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus 4 tau square. Now see the denominator this it is same but here sigma x sigma y by 2 that is the odd. So what we will do we will multiply and divide. So here 1 by 2 I am multiplying and to nullify here I am multiplying by 2. So 2 into 2 you will get the 4. So now 1 by 2 the denominator 1 by 2 the denominator is same. So we can add these two terms. So therefore what we will get sigma x minus sigma y by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 denominator is same. So that is under root sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus 4 tau square. Now numerator sigma x minus sigma y bracket square then plus 4 tau square. So this we will get. Now if you see numerator and denominator value is same only here is the square root. So what we will do this value we will write in terms of square root. So square root of this into square root of this and this square root and square root it will get cancelled then we will get this value sigma x minus sigma y by 2 plus minus this 1 by 2 if I take into square uh, root then 1 by 4 and this remaining into sigma x minus sigma y x bracket square plus 4 tau square. Now sigma x minus plus minus and 1 by 4 if you multiply then 1 by 2 its whole square then it becomes 4 then 4 tau square divided by 4, 4, 4 it will get cancelled so here we will get the tau square. Now here we have to find out as we found out the major principal plane and the minor principal plane. So here we have to find out the major principal stress and the minor principal stress. So here we got the equation and the sign plus minus. So if I take the plus sign this value plus this value the stress it will get the more and this value minus this value the stress value will get the less. So if I take the plus sign then I will get major principal stress. So sigma 1 is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 the plus value and the square root sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau square and if I this is the equation number 4 and for the minor principal stress here I will take the minus sign. So then we will get the minor principal stress. So in this way we can find out major principal plane, minor principal plane, major principal stress and the minor principal stress. Now just now we calculated all this value then how to locate this value. See this is the ABCD one element and this is the stress in x direction sigma x, this is stress in y direction sigma y. Now the shear stress acting on this. So here we have to locate the position of principal plane and the principal stress. Now theta p1 we have calculated. So what we will do whatever the value theta p1 will get from the by taking that value from this vertical plane we will measure in anticlockwise direction that is the theta p1 and we will mark 1. So this is the position of major principal plane. Now what is the minor principal plane? Then all uh, major principal plane and minor principal plane are perpendicular to each other. So, so theta p2 what it is theta p1 plus 90. So this is you will get the minor principal plane and we will close. Now this is the major principal plane on which the major principal stress. This is the minor principal plane on which minor principal stress it will act. So this is the major principal stress and this is the minor principal stress. In this way, we can locate the all value. Now, next 
the position of planes of maximum shear stress. So, the shear stress will be maximum when we will take the derivative of. So, tau theta, if you take d by d theta of the tau theta is equal to 0, then we will get either the maximum or the minimum value. So, we know the equation tau theta equal to sigma x minus sigma by sin of 2 theta minus tau cos of 2 theta. Its derivative if you take and if we equate it to 0, then we will get the maximum value. So, we will take the derivative. This is the constant term. It will remain as it is sin 2 theta. It is cos of 2 theta into 2 theta multiplied by 2 minus add it is tau. This is again constant given value. Cos of 2 theta minus sin 2 theta into 2 theta derivative that is 2 equal to 0. Then if you rearrange sigma x sigma minus this 2 2 it will get cancelled into cos of 2 theta then minus minus it becomes plus this 2 tau sin of 2 theta that is equal to 0. Then I will take this value towards the right hand side. So 2 tau sin of 2 theta is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y cos of 2 theta. Then uh, <coughs> sin of 2 theta divided by cos of 2 theta is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 tau or even if you rearrange this then minus this sin of 2 theta divided by cos of 2 theta minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 tau that is equal to if I multiply by this minus to the bracket then this becomes plus and this is the minus so we rearrange sigma y minus sigma x divided by 2 tau. So this is equation number 6 so therefore position of planes of the maximum shear stress are so again the maximum shear stress planes are again 2 and these two planes are perpendicular to each other. Now the first, if I take tan inverse of this, this S indicates the position of shear plane. So tan inverse of this take, then theta S1 you will get theta S and the second one theta S1 plus 90 position of second principal plane because they are perpendicular to each other. Now, we will find out what is the magnitude of maximum shear stress and the minimum shear stress acting on the maximum shear plane or minimum shear plane. Now, we know this tan 2 theta s is equal to sigma y minus sigma x by 2 tau. So, again this equation uh, that is the uh, we will convert into the triangular form represent the above geometric representation. So, again 2 theta that is the front side divided by the adjacent side. So, front side divided by the adjacent side which already we carried out in case of the principal plane position in the similar way we will find out this hypotenuse. So, plus minus front side square plus adjacent side square we will get this value. Then sin of 2 theta and cos of 2 theta value similar way sin 2 theta height upon diagonal sin front side divided by diagonal sigma minus sigma x and the this value. Then cos of 2 theta adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse that is cos 2 theta is equal to 2 tau divided by this hypotenuse sigma y minus sigma x plus 4 tau square. Now, the values of maximum minimum shear stress obtained by substituting the values of sin 2 theta and cos 2 theta in the equation number 2. So, equation number 2 we know that is the tau theta is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin of 2 theta minus tau cos of 2 theta. So, in this equation we will put the sin 2 theta and cos 2 theta value. So, sin 2 theta that is the plus minus cos 2 theta plus 2 value we get. So, here we will write plus minus this term as it is we will put sin 2 theta value this is. Then plus minus tau as it is cos 2 theta value we will put. So, again denominator it is same. So, here 1 by 2. So, here we will multiply 1 by 2 and uh, multiply by 2 uh, then we will get so, 1 by 2 sigma this sigma x minus sigma y or sigma y minus sigma x again plus minus we will get the same value 2 value. So, sigma y minus sigma x and this is sigma y minus sigma x which is square divided by this denominator as it is then plus minus 1 by 2 and multiply by 2 this 4 tau square. So, this tau tau square and 2 and 2 multiply 4 tau square divided by this denominator. So, denominator is same. So, we will add these two we will get plus minus 1 by 2 as it is sigma y minus sigma x bracket square plus 4 tau square and this denominator square root sigma y minus sigma x bracket square plus 4 tau square. So, again this we will write in terms of the square root 2 value. So, this square root and it will get cancelled. So, we will get plus minus 1 by 2 under root sigma y minus sigma x bracket square plus 4 tau square. So, this 
So 1 by 2 will take into the square root. So therefore we will get plus minus under root 1 by 4 sigma y minus sigma x bracket square plus 4 tau square. So this is the value we will get plus minus 1 by uh, then uh, 1 by 2 that will be taken inside. So again 1 by 4 if you take into this bracket it is square. So we will get the sigma y minus sigma x by 2 its bracket square plus 4 tau square divided by 4, 4, 4 it will get cancel and the tau square. So here plus minus 2 value we will get. So <coughs> tau max is equal to plus value and tau minimum equal to minus value. Here the thing is what the shear stress will get the same value because they are always equivalent opposite in the direction. So plus value that is clockwise direction minus value that is in anticlockwise direction. So just now we have found out that is the shear plane first, shear plane second and on which tau max the positive value due to which we will get the clockwise moment and the negative due to which we will get the anticlockwise moment. So that is the tau max and the tau mean. Here max and mean it is indicate clockwise and anticlockwise. Now magnitude of normal stress on the plane of maximum shear. So whatever the maximum shear plane we found out here on this what is the normal stress that it is acting that we are going to find out. Now we know already tan 2 theta s is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 tau and sin theta divided by cos theta and this cos theta I will take to right hand side I will get sin of 2 theta equal to this remaining term. And substituting this sin of 2 theta value in normal stress sigma theta. So you know this sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin of 2 theta plus tau sin of 2 theta and that sin of 2 theta value we are putting here. So what we will get this if I multiply then I will get sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. So this plus minus here it becomes then tau uh, and this tau it will get cancelled. So sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos of 2 theta and this is the minus. So here sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos of 2 theta minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos of 2 theta. This two term it will get cancelled. So sigma n equal to sigma x plus sigma y by so this is the normal stress acting on maximum shear stress plane we will get. So even uh, that uh, we can find out this normal stress is equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2. So thank you.